The Russian government is moving very quickly to come to terms with the new situation on the ground in Afghanistan, and of course, specifically in Kabul. In fact, the Russian ambassador to Kabul, he came and he confirmed on Tuesday that he had had meetings with top-level officials from the Taliban. Now, he said that the Taliban had guaranteed the security and the safety of the Russian embassy and its staff, and also that the Taliban apparently have what he called a positive attitude towards Russia. Now, this is very different from the talk that we've heard from the Russians in the past couple of days about the Ashraf Ghani government, which, of course, supported by the United States. The Russians calling that government a puppet government and saying they believe now that the Taliban essentially are in power in Kabul, that the situation there is stabilizing. On the whole, however, the Russians are saying this does not necessarily change their attitude towards the Taliban. In fact, Sergei Lavrov came out for the first time on Tuesday and he said that, yes, the Russians had seen some positive signals. But on the other hand, of course, the Taliban are still an organization that's banned in Russia and considered a terrorist organization here as well. On the whole, however, the Russians are saying that um, they believe they're in a fairly comfortable position in Kabul and in Afghanistan because for a very long time they've been cultivating ties with all sides in Afghanistan, specifically also with the Taliban. The Russians have big interests, of course, in Afghanistan as several of their allied countries, like for instance Tajikistan and Uzbekistan, share long borders with Afghanistan and the Russians certainly don't want to see a destabilization in that part of the world. Fred Plaikin, CNN, Moscow.